This is exactly what's happening. We got a dead pleco right there. Right in the middle. Whoa, 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 Literally first cast net. Just in this little puddle right here. So we must have been out of water for quite some time. One last thing. Bingo. Here, film. Just so they don't die. Like, well, here, here. All right, we're also seizing the cast net today. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So we're getting released back into the puddle here and probably will die in a few days. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we got a cooler, we got a cast net, and we got a big old puddle over there full of fish that got stuck in there. The other day, me and my buddy Orlando were looking for crawfish and we ran into this massive dried up puddle. That used to be like a little canal and then dried up and now it's just a puddle full of fish trapped in there, all dirty water, there's trash in there. We saw some dead fish dried up, so that means they've been there for a while. So the mission today is to cast net as many as we can and rescue them and then transfer them to a different canal or lake. And basically just give them another chance at life because eventually that puddle is gonna fully dry out and they're gonna be dead. We got the bucket, we got the net, let's get to work and save some fish. So the other day when we came, we were looking for crawfish. We came to this canal because usually it's filled with water. When me and Orlando came, we noticed that there was no water, just this was filled. Eventually this thing is gonna fully drain out and there's gonna be, and look, you see, there's probably at least, at least 200 fish in here. You can't really see because the water's so dirty. And then come down here, I'll show you. When we were over here, we saw dried up plecos, dried up tilapia, there's one right there. Look at this. Now this is kind of gross, but this is exactly what's happening. We got a dead pleco right there. When I came the other day, I actually saw a couple dried up, because like I said, this was all dried up. It was only that right there that had water in it. And look at that, a dead pleco, because there's just not enough oxygen in this little amount of water to keep all these fish alive. I saw a tilapia in here, probably about that big. And that's really big for, I mean, this amount of water. So what we're gonna do, get the cast net ready, try to cast net as many as we can and save them. Usually we use dip nets. This water is so murky and we really don't know this area so well. So we're gonna just take the cast net and literally throw it in the puddle and just try to get as many as we can. Like I said, the water's really, really dirty. So we're not able to just like see them and dip net them. So this is our only option to actually save these fish. And that's what we're gonna do today. We gotta fill up the bucket real quick. So as soon as we catch them, boom, they're ready to go right in this cooler. We're gonna put them in the car and then bring them to a lake that has a lot more water and they'll be able to live the rest of their life there are literally fish everywhere i don't know if you could see them on camera but right here standing because like i'm a little closer i could see all the tilapia all the cichlids once we get the cast net and throw it the first time i guarantee we catch a bunch of them hopefully look how gross that water is so gross there's trash everywhere in it dead fish poor fish honestly this is what they've been living in and i don't even know how long I just came here, like I said, we did a crawfish video about two, about three days ago. We came over here because this is a great canal for crawfish usually when it's filled up. But we then noticed that it's literally all dried up and there are fish swimming all throughout here. This man really loves fish. I just like animals, man. Gotta save them. All right, that should be enough. Let's net some fish. So right here, we got a cast net. This is basically, if you haven't already seen a cast net, what it does, spreads out and pancakes, you, well, that's what you want to get a pancake on them. And it just is a big net. And we're gonna try to pancake this whole puddle so we can get all of them in one cast net. Here we go. First net, we're gonna see how this goes. Right in the middle. Hopefully there's nothing in there that the net gets stuck on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at all these bluegills. Look at that. Literally first cast net. Boom. Just in this little puddle right here. All these fish are stuck in this puddle. And that was the first net. We got one bluegill, two bluegill, three, four, five. There's one still in the net. Six, seven. Holy cow, there's a lot of fish here. We got the aerator, so they'll be able to be fine in here for a couple hours until we find them a new home. Boom, just like that, pumping oxygen into the cooler, we'll be good to go. All right. Round two. Round two, first net was a success. We probably caught about 10 on that one, which is really good, because I didn't even get a pancake, it was more like a banana. But we're gonna go again. I saw what, when we first walked up, there was a monster. I'm gonna see if we can see some from the land. There was a big old tilapia right there in that bed. Boom. That was a good one right that there. That was a pancake. Ready? 
Let's see. Oh yeah, we got some. We got some. We got some. Looks like a, just a bunch of, of uh, bluegill. It'll be cool. Maybe we'll catch something really cool in here. You never know. But right now, looks like we're getting, oh, look at that. Mine cichlid. Look at how pretty this fish is. I didn't even notice, but in the net, we got a pleco, a baby one. He's so sick. That is literally as prehistoric as it gets. Little pleco. And these guys can actually live out of water for quite some time. We did see one dried up about the same exact size, actually. So we must have been out of water for quite some time. Get sweat. All right, let's go. There are literally so many fish we're rescuing. I mean, we've already gotten like probably three dozen and two casts. Boom. Look at that. Woo! It's a lot of fish. So we already got about 24 fish, I would say, honestly, in literally two casts. And you gotta realize, we are in a puddle that's probably about 10 feet across, 10 feet wide. It's not big at all. And all these fish are just hanging out in here, pretty much running out of oxygen. It only lasts for so long in a body of water like this. So right now we gotta try to get as many as we can. Throw number three. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hopefully we got him. Hopefully we got him. We got him. Looks like a different species. Where'd it go? I saw a big one in here. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is right there. What is that? Different species. We got a tilapia right there. So we got bluegill, Mayan cichlid, pleco, and tilapia. Three more down. Let's get him in the bucket. The last thing. Bingo. We're not doing nothing wrong. Okay. And then you want to move your first for us? We're just going to take the cooler in the net real quick. All right. You guys, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Um, and you're not free to leave at this time. You're not under arrest. But I do have to read you your Miranda rights, okay? But why? For what reason? And I'm gonna explain all that right after I read this, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. If you consent to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will have the right to stop answering at any time. Do you understand each of these rights? Yep. Okay, with these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? No. No, you don't want to answer I just, I, I don't know what the, there's questions to be answered. I'm, I just told you exactly what I'm doing. If it's le if it's illegal to do, you tell me, hey, this is not allowed. We won't do it. If it's legal to do, then we should just go on with our day. Only allowed to take certain species with the cast. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to take them like to keep for us though. We're literally going to take them. And then if there's like a body of water like down there that has a little bit more water or like a body over here, we're literally just going to dump them in just so they don't die. Like well, here, here's they're dying. The, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Once you place them in your cooler, you have taken possession of that fish, okay, Come with the cast net. So I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. That's why I read you your Miranda rights and asked you if you wanted to answer some of my questions. Yeah, I'll answer them. I mean, you I got no nothing. no problem with answering yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, I got nothing to hide here, though. It's, it's a violation. violation if you don't Taking game fish with the cast net, illegal method, okay? We're not trying to catch, like, bait to use to, like, catch other fish. We're literally casting these fish to help them and release them into a bigger body of water so okay. they don't die. It's right. not, I see where you're coming from. Like if I was casting bait, putting them in my bucket and then going fishing, like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's wrong. Like these fish, like they're protected with with that sort of thing. But the thing is, mm -hmm. they're dying. So far. They're dying in the water. There's dead fish all around. I could show you them. No, I mean. So like, like, I, like I said, I came here about three days ago to film a video catching crawfish like out of these little like canals. I came here about a year ago. This was filled with water. When I came two days ago, only this right here was empty, or only this was filled, not the sewer pipe, none of it. And I saw dead, dried up fish everywhere. There's a dead, dried up pico right there. So what we, so what I do on YouTube is rescue fish, try to help them. Do you know what a bluegill is? Yeah, I know what a bluegill okay. is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that, that, I mean, we're not. There's not very many game fish in Florida. You okay. have you have your brand bluegill stuff like that, shellcracker, yeah. red ear sunfish, your bass stuff like that. Those are the things you can't take with a cast. As gotcha. far as like the armored catfish, the only invasive species, you can't get in trouble for those taking are invasive? those. Those are invasive. Armored they're, catfish. Right, they're not natives. Okay. Okay. So or or your cichlids and stuff like that. Yeah, those yeah, yeah. are. You know, those are not new. You can take those with a cast. So the only thing is the brim, pretty the, much. The brim, or if you have blue bass or anything like that. Okay, you can't now take those can I ask you net. something? Yeah. Now, if I cast net, uh -huh. I buy and catch some brim. Just you gotta, going you back. You gotta put them back. Okay, that's, that, all, that's, that's all I need to know then. Right, right. But right. like, other than that, like, I can continue cast netting, and if I catch sick, because like, I can't tell what I'm gonna catch in the right, net. Right, and we're not gonna, know? we're not gonna. If you catch one, we're not gonna run up and like open your net and be like, oh, you got a bluegill in there. You're, you're in trouble. No. My intentions were only good to save the fish. Like, okay. but I, now that I know, like, we'll continue casting. We'll just throw back the bluegill. I mean, we got 
all different kinds of stuff, not just bluegill. Right, got, I, and I'm not saying you got just bluegill. We got cichlids, armored catfish, right. like, but the bluegill we can toss back. I just, it sucks because I don't want them to die, you know? Once you put a fish in here, I don't know if you're taking it to your house to eat it, to throw it in your aquarium at home, anything like that. No, I gotcha, okay. I gotcha. I and, see, I know where you're coming from. I just know, like, at the same time, my intentions too, but I see where you're You're invasive could. fish either, you cannot release them into another body of water. So like your cichlids and stuff like that? You we gotta be in a controlled you body. Can't, you can't take them out of here and take them somewhere else and let them go. I can't put them in my buddy's pond that he like made. At his house? Yeah. Like inside his house? In his property. No, like in his property. Com he made like, he dug like a pond. Completely private? Yeah, like it's his, like it's fenced in his property. I like, don't no, know if there's a problem with no that. No sewers or anything. I don't know if there's a problem with, to be honest. I don't know. Well, we're gonna take it back to our truck. Look at what, what all the types of fish you have in here. And we're gonna go from there, okay? Gotcha. Just hang tight right here. Um, we're gonna take a cast net for right now, and we'll let you know what's all gonna happen down at the end, okay? Got anything to say? Yeah, I do. I got a lot to say. You know what? I just find it really crazy <laughs> that these guys were fully... Listen, look at me right now. These guys were fully hiding in the bushes. No, the like time. right behind those two. Like, don't squawk behind them and show them what listen, it this is like. what we, we walk up from this hill and we look straight ahead. Man, two guys like right in the bush ducking. Oh, no. Boom. So, unfortunately, we got stopped by FWC. We might have to cut the, the rescue short here, boys, and um, due to FWC. I mean, they say they're all about saving the animals and stuff like that, but honestly, if they really were, they would have let us, you know, rescued these fish because we just showed you they're dying. I mean, there's fish dead in this in this body of water. There's trash. FWC is supposed to be Florida fish and wildlife, like, but it doesn't seem like it. We're not done. Like I said, uh, we'll come back down. We're, we gotta return the food to us. Gotcha. So we're getting released back into the the puddle here, and probably will die in a few days. And it stinks, but it's what it what has to be done, I guess. Now the ones that weren't game fish, they're still in the, your cooler. We'll bring those back over. Okay, thank you. They say they want to protect the game fish, right? Well, it doesn't really seem like it. They just dumped them all back into the puddle. Does that make any sense? So they're going to die. They're probably going to die in like a week or two once this completely dries up. And our buddy who actually right here, he lives here. And he was telling us that, yeah, this is pretty much fish are dying. He lives right, what, you live right there? And he was telling us, he saw FWC stop him, so he was like, dude, like, like he was pretty much on our side, like, telling us, because he lives here and sees this every day, and sees the fish dying, so, it sucks, but they literally, all those fish that we just could have rescued and saved, released back in to die, because of FWC, Florida Fish and Wildlife. I'm going to try to explain it a little better, so basically, you're allowed to cast net, and if you cast on a bluegill, you're not allowed to possess them and then use them as bait. I mean, with this, we weren't using them as bait. We were literally cast netting, rescuing them out, and then we were gonna release them into a bigger body of water so they can have a lot more water. Cause come down here real quick so I can show you guys what's gonna happen to these fish if you give them another month in here. I give it a month at least. See this? That pleco that we just caught that was alive? Here's a dead one, all dried up. Literally, just a dead pleco. And that is from them not having enough oxygen in here, not having enough water, the water quality. I mean, you got trash all throughout this water. And you just saw, for yourself, FWC literally just poured them right back into this water. A few moments later. All right, so I just went over there to give a little update because we've now been waiting for like 30 minutes and um, they are now giving me a ticket, a, a citation to go to court because I was rescuing fish out of a puddle. I mean, I understand if we were taking the bait fish for ourselves, but we're not. We're releasing them back into a bigger body of water so they're able to live. I now am getting a citation and a court date that I got to appear to because I was just trying to do a good deed. And here they come, here they come, let's see. Let's see, guys. All right, so you're being charged today with taking a uh, game fish by illegal method, anything other than hook and line or rod or reel. All right, you have a court date at that time. Okay, tell me county courthouse okay you need to sign right here not a mission to go just tell me you're gonna show up to court all right and we're also seizing the cast net today you're as taking evidence my cast net. yes we're seizing it as evidence all right i need you it's a 300 dollars cast net it's not like it's just well know. once you go to court you can get it back if the judge says you can get it back at the end of it but right now we're seizing it as evidence because it was using the crime the crime, guys. You hear that? The crime. You're free to go. Yep, thank you. So you just heard it for yourself, FWC. There they go, walking away. Like, they think they're, yeah, I don't know. But they gave me a citation to appear to court. They also took my $300 cast net that I was using to rescue these fish out of the puddle. And we now can no longer make the video. But we do have a couple fish that they did not take.
being a cichlid, tilapia, and the armored catfish. So what we're gonna do, since we don't have the cast net, we would have cast netted some more and just released the game fish that we weren't allowed to, you know, rescue. And then um, the other ones we would release into a bigger body of water so they can live the rest of their life. But like I said, they took the cast net, so we're not able to do that. So we're gonna go try to get these guys a new home and um, yeah be able to live uh, the rest of their life happy. We're at my buddy's private little pond, and this is where we're gonna be releasing the fish since they are, these species are invasive, I guess, or they're not, you know, they're not native to the area, so we do have to release them in a private enclosed pond, and that's where they're gonna be going, and they're gonna be able to live the rest of their life in here and be happy fish instead of in that dried up puddle and literally nothing but dirt, trash, and a little bit of water, so. Happy we were able to save at least a few. Sucks that FWC had to come in and do that, because. That was pretty wrong in the way if you ask me. It is the next day and honestly just pretty uh, amazed by how they handled that. FWC knew our intentions. They knew that we were not trying to take any fish to eat, keep, or anything of that sort. We were actually trying to do the complete opposite and rescue those fish out of the puddle they were in. Not to mention, FWC is all about saving animals and protecting wildlife. The fish that we got in trouble today for were bluegill. They're protected species or game fish. If they were so concerned about protecting the fish and what I was getting in trouble for, they would have never released those fish right back into that water. It was very obvious. There was dead fish all around, trash in the water, and about seven inches of water. It honestly just blows my mind because, like I said, they knew our intentions. I recorded everything prior to them showing up, so I was able to actually show them the recordings and show them what we were trying to do, and they still were just taking advantage of the power they have. And that's what I think happened there. I think... You know, these officers, not saying every officer is bad, but there are some out there that take advantage of the power they have. And in this case, I really think that was a prime example. Instead of educating me and telling me what I was doing wrong and how to do it, he fully just gave me the ticket, kind of said what I was doing wrong, but said it in like five different ways. And um, also gave me a court date and seized my cast net. So it's honestly just, it's crazy because we're out here trying to inspire people to rescue animals when they do see them injured or trapped like that. And I know there is like a natural life cycle of how things work, but that's not a natural thing. There's trash in the water, there's dead fish all around. These fish are clearly dying because the canal was drained out. And I don't care about the ticket, I don't care about the court date or even them seizing my cast net. What I'm mad about is they say they protect fish and wildlife, but then go dump the fish that I just rescued out of that puddle right back into it. Full of trash, full of dead fish, and they saw it. It was very obvious. It was, I mean, there was dead fish sitting right there and trash, and they still did that. So that's one thing that really got me ticked off. I am back at the little ditch, the puddle, whatever you want to call it. As you can see right here, we got a dead bluegill, the fish that they were actually protecting. And the water has gotten a lot lower to where it's literally like five feet across five feet that way and there's like four inches of water you see fish all throughout here i kind of stirred it up because i was in there just seeing if i can maybe dip net them because we're not allowed to cast net and um come up here and there's a dead one bluegill right there the fish that they were protecting and now i have a court date a ticket to pay off so guys make sure you watch the full video for me and um i'm gonna keep you guys updated on how this goes because we ain't losing this one. I think they were really wrong. I think they could have handled that situation a lot better. And you know, if you're doing a job, do it right. Like you don't have to act all, you know, big and bad because you have this power. You can literally just educate me on what I was doing wrong and then we move on from there. But they took that route. And now I have a court date. I'm gonna let you guys know how that goes and we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!